So I'm standing right here in our lychee hedge uh, because of a problem that we have with this. And as you can probably tell, we have a lot of evidence of lychee leaf curl mite or also known as lychee arenose mite. Now, this unfortunately is a problem for Palm Beach County and at least six other counties in South Florida. There are a fair number of lychee groves uh, down in Homestead, and so far, Miami-Dade does not have any lychee leaf curl mite. So we're hoping that they steer clear of it. But the problem all started early last year, in 2019. There was a um, mite that made its way into the West Florida, Pine Island. And unfortunately, it made its way into a lychee propagation nursery. And they made a lot of lychee trees and sold them all over Florida, especially South Florida. And unfortunately, with those came the mites. So we didn't buy any of those plants. We haven't sold uh, lychee plants for a while, but those mites get transmitted through wind and other vectors. We're not really sure how fast it got here, but we definitely have it. Uh, you know, the blistering of the leaves, uh, the you know rusty um, bottom of the leaves, it's, uh, you can spot it from a, a distance. So this video is step one in our series of the lychee Aranos mite in South Florida. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we have it on 31 trees. Once you have it anywhere near, it spreads like wildfire. Uh, and there's not much that the average homeowner can do about treating this pest. Uh, I did notice a tree about a mile away from here that was completely removed. I'm guessing it was because it started to look like heck because of this particular pest. Um, but the state has a program for treating this and it's very important for homeowners to contact them. We'll put the contact information in the description because in order to effectively treat this particular pest, you have to treat all of it. You can't have one tree in somebody's backyard that has the pest that doesn't get treated. That tree is just as important to treat as uh, our 31 trees or the hundreds of trees that are in other lychee groves. Uh, we gotta get every, every situation treated. Unfortunately, a lot of homeowners had a bad experience with the uh, citrus canker program that was several years ago. And this program is going to be completely different. Uh, people are not going to come in and take your lychee tree. Uh, the program calls for treating your existing lychee tree. For us, it's cutting all of our plants down to between four and eight feet and of, of course removing all leaves uh, and you know when you do that it's important to whitewash the, the branches and the trunks so that they don't get sunburned. Uh, what can happen if you just cut everything off is that the bark can actually sunburn and start peeling off of the, uh, of the stump that is left it's not good. So anyway, they're going to whitewash all of the trees and then, you know, monitor that uh, for when new leaves emerge. Now, new leaves are what the lychee leaf curl might really like. 
Uh, they will attack, you know, flowers and fruit, and they'll even be in bark of the tree and such, but it's the, the new leaves that really attract them. So, like, I think it's every two weeks, what they're going to do is, with the new leaves, is they're, they're going to um, spray them with sulfur. Now, I'm not sure if the sulfur is, um, just makes the, the new leaves taste terrible, or if it actually kills the, the particular pest also. Um, anyway, that is the protocol. Sulfur is really not a big problem for people. In fact, because we grow things organically, um, there's one of the five uh, sulfur products that is actually OMRI registered, so they're going to use that on our trees. Um, but yeah, cutting it back, removing all the leaves, they're going to chip everything up, bury all of that somewhere, um, you know, they, not here, <laughs> and, uh, and then wait for the new leaves to form, spray that, and the whole program, I think, is supposed to last about three months. So hopefully after those three months, all of the lychee trees will be free of this, you know, particular pest. So it's important to notify somebody that you have this tree because, you know, it's not enough to treat all the groves. It's every single lychee tree that has to be treated because if you have anything, it was probably was just one small tree on the west coast of Florida and all of a sudden we have it in seven counties. So definitely you wanna, you know, like call in, get your lychee tree, treated yes you'll lose production for two or possibly three years but the alternative is not a good one you will not be happy with the way a tree looks once it's completely infested with this particular pest and you will not get the the nice fruit that you've gotten in the past so the lychee leaf curl mite or lychee arenose mite has uh, been in palm beach county for over a year uh, at first, a few of the um, big nurseries were quarantined because that's where the, the pest showed up and the quarantines were somewhat effective, but unfortunately the mite got out anyway and basically it's in a lot of places in Palm Beach County. Uh, we've been seeing it for uh, like not quite a year and Right now, it's gotten pretty bad. Uh, I've seen trees worse than this, but you know, this is not great. Uh, so, it's really important at this point to get all the trees treated. Uh, you know, there've been places in, around the world where they've gotten this pest, and I'm not sure if they've successfully treated it anywhere, but the people in Florida are hopeful, and I hope that they uh, are actually successful in eradicating this pest. It has occurred uh, at least twice in Florida before. So the first time was, I believe, in the 1950s, and there, the state had the good fortune of having a really cold winter, and really cold weather does help eradicate the pest. Uh, another time, a uh, shipment of lychee trees came in that were infected and they just never got offloaded. Uh, so I'm hoping that we have success with this particular incidence of the, of the mite. So the timeline of what has happened with this mite at the grove is that in July, I was notified that all lychee trees were quarantined in this area. That was not a big deal for me because they were talking about container plants and I didn't have any container plants, you know, anything for sale in the land of lychees and so didn't affect me. That great, they're just going to take care of this pest and the quarantine did not do it because these, you know, the lychee leaf curl might definitely can can travel with the wind and you know other vectors and so we ended up having it on our trees 
uh, in October they came to inspect our trees and of course you know I could have told them we have it uh, you know it's all over it's some varieties of lychee seem to be more susceptible than others uh, this particular area has a lot of evidence of the the leaf curl mite different stages um, so since you know our our grove tested positive for that. Uh, in November, uh, we had some people from Gainesville come down, uh, sort of head honchos, and they took a look and then also delivered the message that they would be coming and as soon as possible to cut all of our trees back and treat them. I thought that was going to happen last year, but here we are in February, we're still waiting for treatment. So stay tuned for our second video, hopefully it will be coming up soon.